What's up YouTube? Mike here from Techno GI. And today I wanted to show you kind of a cool iOS app that I stumbled upon. And is what this app allows you to do is use your iPad as a second monitor for your Windows and or Mac device. And in this case, I'm using a Surface, a Surface Pro 3. But is where this differenti uh, differentiates itself from other apps out there. There's a lot of out th apps out there that allow you to do this via a Wi-Fi connection. And this one is actually wired and you're just using your lightning adapter or your 30 pin adapter based on what iPad model you have. But with this, there's virtually zero lag. I really haven't noticed any. And it's just a great uh, way to do a second monitor on a budget, especially if you've already got an iPad um, laying around and you can use it as a second monitor. And it doesn't just mirror it, it actually gives you a sec second display, which is really cool. Um, the downside of this is this app is um, it's called Duet Display, but it's actually about $16. So it's kind of a pricey app, but for what it does, um, it's worth it. So uh, with that, uh, let me give you a demo. Okay, so hell has not frozen over. Right now what you see is an iPad Air running um, as a second monitor for a Surface Pro 3. So. These are obviously two competitive devices where they're going against each other, but right now, as you can see, I am actually mirroring, um, I say I've got an extended screen from my Surface to my iPad. And uh, let's see, let me open something here just to show you. Um, uh, Google Chrome here. As you can see, I clicked it on the left and it opened on the right. So I've got it up over here and then say I want to use a Metro app on this side and then BAM there's the Metro app and you can even uh, as you can see it's fully functional so if I go to desktop here and over here these actually work on along the bottom as you can see so let's try this so BAM then I got a Metro view over here so I can as you can see it's very responsive a uh, little lag or I say little as in hardly any not any lag that I can notice and I played this for this a while uh, with this a while and it works so let's see let's open up um, some over here uh, let me pick uh, the weather channel so as you can see it's fully functional fully working um, with no lag that I can see and um, like I said this is a wired connection so it works perfectly fine now if you, the only caveat is if you play video on this side, then it's, uh, the sound is actually going to come through the uh, surface in this case. And actually the touch controls work on this, so um, I can actually utilize uh, my finger as I say that, so let's go, yeah, so as you can see it's working somewhat it's essentially using my finger like it's a mouse but it does work so if you want to scroll though you got to grab it along the bottom just like so so really um, it's optimized for a mouse uh, but it does work so let's see Get this thing to close there we go uh, but like I said if you open a YouTube on this side it works, it plays fine, but your sound is actually going to come through your uh, whatever you have to connect it to. In my case, it's a Surface. But really, this is a nice portable uh, solution to have a second monitor with you. Because I generally will carry both of these with me anyways. Um, I haven't fully replaced my iPad just because there's one or two apps I'd like to use um, for aviation that's not really on the Surface. But in any case, I usually have both of these in my bag, so now I can have a second display. So I can do uh, be a lot more productive if I'm working. Say I want to watch a YouTube while I'm working on, you know, Microsoft Word or whatever. Um, and it's there, so let's see. Let's go uh, open up YouTube just to kind of show you that, you know, it plays nicely. It's not necessarily choppy, and the only negative is the sound actually won't come through that. It comes through here, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but um, just be aware of that. So let, let's see. Let's open up the video here. I'll go full screen. And again, the lagginess is a result of my 
crappy internet. But it's playing, it plays fine. Uh, it's just the sound comes through the surface. But again, while that's playing, you know, I can come over here and do whatever if I want to open up uh, my mail or whatever. I want to open up Windows. So, as you can see, it works. It works well. Um, and again, this is an iPad Air 1. It'll work with the 2. It'll pretty much work with any generation of iPad that you have. But it works and it works well. It's a great solution. So, one of the coolest things I've actually found uh, with this that I like quite a bit, and again, you got all this stuff down here, so I don't open PowerPoint, but um, I kind of discovered this by accident. I was curious if it will work. And, you know, the Microsoft Wireless Display Adapter. It's out there at $69, but I found a kind of a poor man solution to it if you've already got this hardware. So I've already got an iPad, I've already got an Apple TV, and of course with an iPad you can mirror it to an Apple TV. And I was curious if it would work in conjunction with this app so I could mirror my Surface to my Apple TV. And lo and behold, it does work. So I will give you a demo of that now. Alright, as you can see here, I've got my Surface Pro 3 wireless, or I have to say hardwired to my iPad Air. And my iPad Air is actually connected to my Apple TV in mirroring mode. So, if you've been wanting to get a Microsoft Wireless Display Adapter, but you don't want to pay $69, and if you already own an Apple TV and an iPad, then here is kind of a ad hoc solution. It's not perfect, uh, but it works. So let me show you. You know, just like I just showed, um, mirroring with your, or I say, making this an extension of your surface, same thing. So now, um, I can wirelessly send this to my TV. And again, let's see. I've got this right up here so you can see all three, what's going on, but totally works. So this is a way to wirelessly um, send your service, surface to your Apple TV. So like I said, this is basically the same solution as if you had a Microsoft wireless display adapter. The caveat being that you'll have these large bars on the side. That's just the way the Apple TV mirrors the iPad. But it's not necessarily a big deal. Um, it still works. Uh, works nice, actually, as you can see. Uh, let's get down here. We'll open up a Metro so you can see. Like I said, this is this way you got a tiny bit of lag, but it's really about the same amount of lag. I've tested and reviewed the Microsoft Wireless Display Adapter. It's about the same quality, to be honest with you. Uh, minus you don't have these bars. With that, it would be full screen. But this is just kind of a quick ad hoc way to wirelessly mirror your Surface tablet to an Apple TV. So, I mean, again, if you've already got a Apple TV and an iPad, instead of spending $69 for a wireless display adapter, you can buy this app, um, Duet Display, for $16 from the App Store. And again, as you can see, it works. It's a, a little conflictor. But it works. It works really well, actually. And I can still use my Surface over here. So, I mean, that is just a ad hoc way that you can do it. It's not a perfect solution, but it, it works well and it's just a thinking outside the box. So if you wanted to wirelessly mirror your surface to your TV, this is just one way you can do it without actually buying a wireless display adapter. So with that, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions, leave it down in the comments below. But again, this is called Duet Display. It's totally worth it. So uh, give it a shot. Talk to you later. Please subscribe. Thanks.